Is it already Friday? The answer is yes, because you're watching this video. Guess who got some Disney figures? I'm hoping I get... Sure hope I get Chip and Dale. But first we're gonna start with Unikitty. Um, Unikitty, as every week, I mentioned that we're looking for chocolate cake, puppy corn, and every week we don't get him. I got see green, and it's, it's a good one. Though. It's the Godzilla, like the monster Unikitty. I like that one a lot. Of course, we've already built it. I don't know how many times, four or five times. I've gotten that one. And um, I know some people are clamoring for counts of how many of this figure do you have, or how many, you know, what's your biggest your biggest collection of blind bag figures? Well, I wish I knew. I wish I could tell you. But I can't. So, real briefly, we're going to talk about, yep, you can hear a bag in this one, so that's a sign. <gasps> I got two capes? That is freaking awesome. And I think the only thing left in here is, yeah. so we got two pink capes now. That's, that's a good get. Boring black mini figure stand. So pretty excited for this one. Um. So first of all, big thing. Uh, fantasy people should be getting out there right now if you're into castle fantasy, all that stuff. This thing, it is a lantern, and you get the uh, globe for it, the yellow piece for the inside that's representing the lighting. Oh my gosh, focus on it. I can't hold it though, so that's probably... Hmm. Hmm. Is that good? Is that good focus? Hard to say. Anyways... Um, you should be getting those. Very, very useful for all your medieval fantasy castle. Even even into the early, uh, you know, 1900s, you know, 1920s, you, you were still using oil lamps pretty routinely. Uh, farther than that, I'm sure. Uh, the pattern on the dress is a very nice floral one. Not, uh, it's obviously, it's obviously, you know, um, Anna, but not uh, not too crazy. You could be using that in other settings. The hair piece is very nice uh, sculpt to it, but it's soft. Nice little bit of printing might have gone a long way on the very ends, but uh, you know that's that's fine. We got a winky face. Everyone loves that winky face, and then you got the the kind of regular. So I think we're going with regular though. And oh wow, that's nice. It holds down the uh, the. I guess I call that a collar, the cape's collar. Oh, thanks for joining me, dog. Thank, thank you. Hello. I think the dog wants to go outside, but it's blind bag variety. We don't have time for going outside right now. Um, me saying the that word twice wasn't helpful. Not loving, loving. I mean, it holds the collar down. Maybe I got the collar a little crooked. Mm, that looks okay. Kind of frumpy. You can see how the collar and the hair are interfacing a little weird, but nice enough. Extra cape. Good to find. All right, next up, let's see. Mm, yeah, I'm not, I'm not hearing an extra cape or an extra bag. Extra cape, I, I couldn't hear. Oh, good. It's the best duck boy. Now, I don't want to embarrass myself and say their name wrong, but it is one of the Donald's nephews. Uh, very nice dual molded legs, little short legs. It's always nice to get that. Very boring printing on the body. There is none. The hat being a mini peg is kind of cool, I guess. Not you to put it on this sculpted head. 
cool. Boring black minifigure stand. And we do get a book though. The book is uh, the book is where the, the money went into this figure. Um, I think it's Junior Wilderness. No, hmm. I knew this logo at one point, but I couldn't tell you right now. Why are you having such a yeah, there it is. Well, there it is. Uh, we also get a printed page, which I think goes this way. Very nice either way to get a little book. It's generic enough that you could use it in a lot of settings. And I mean, if, if you didn't want the cover on there, the pieces um, flippable. So you could have just a green book. And then on the inside, you'd have some stuff. But uh, we're going to do it correctly for today. Okay, last one. I'm a little concerned because I just realized that my camera, I think, is recording in vertical video mode. We're going to have to fix that in post, which is always fun. A lot of crinkling. I'm thinking, thinking a second bag in there. Oh, good. I didn't get it quite open enough. Well, there's rip, rip, rip. I'm hoping for uh, one I don't have. Hey, that's a good one. So that's going to be Jack's. Skellington. It's weird how they're doing this. Uh, the the tail coats, uh, coattails piece being in its in the main bag, and then the rest of it being in a uh, uh, second bag here. It's kind of weird, but yeah, no. Wow, I got three snowflakes. Are they all the same? Oh, some aren't. Is there more? Yeah, so I got two of one and one of the other. Oh, no, I didn't. I got another one. I got four snowflakes. That's really cool. Uh, nice printing all the way around on the hips, the legs, and the side of the legs. None on the back, though. Um, yeah, That corner. You guys seeing what I'm seeing? Just a little, maybe, maybe a little off. Hard to say. Bow tie piece with a little bat. Well, that is hard to focus on, apparently. There you go. Uh, yeah, really nice looking piece there. The body with the pinsuit striping on the sides. Very nice. Well, that could be usable for something else, perhaps. And then, of course, we'll get to the present in a second. But uh, let's see if we can't assemble this bad boy. So, skirt pieces and such waist accessories hip accessories i don't know always just a little bit annoying very nice job though to hide the lack of printing on the back i don't know if the lower side should go to one specific side or not i probably could look in the instructions but uh let's face it we're not the Jack Skellington face is very iconic, and I think it's very well done. I'm going to look at it real quick with my special eyes. Yeah, no bleeding or anything. Uh, kind of creepy looking, but just what you would expect from, from Jack to be. Uh, nice, nice. I'm going to put all four of those in there, I think. Let's see. Let's see. i got, I got to show you them on camera, of course, don't I? So let's go all the way in here. Come on. Yeah, look at that focus. That was great. We got a pointy one, and we got a less... A pointy one and a less pointy one. Um, and I got one of each in the present. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit all the snowflakes in the present. Someone's an itchy boy. I don't know if you can hear that or not, honestly. But uh, I assume you can hear the dog rattling. Thanks, pup. Well, but yeah, I can't get it to close, so we'll just put in one of each. So let's look at that print. Pretty good. That is a regular tile, which is really nice. They don't do those inverted tiles anymore for presents because the new present boxes is that much better. 
Um, is the print? No, I don't think so. I was gonna say, is the print the same one? Hmm. It's definitely not the same on all the sides, but I think there's only two patterns. I think that's one pattern, that's one pattern. We got a corner one and the one going off the side. And then this is one where we got one going off the side and a lower corner one. Yeah, so it's like maybe mirrored. Anyways, it's nice, nice uh, little present box there. Stick it on the side here. And we're done with the uh, the video, guys. We got Unikitty. And we got some minifigures. So if uh, you've made it this far, Congratulations, that was a pretty, pretty good job. Um, you should probably subscribe if you're not, and if you are, thank you. Um, there's automatic videos, you know how this works. I missed that like four times. Automatic video, subscribe, and there is another video that I picked for you. Thank you for watching, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna make you more videos because you, you Lego addicts, you need it. Bye.